I think it's time to button things back up. Just a quick look underneath so you can see. So I replaced um, this bearing right here. Let's turn that off. So main bearing number seven right here. We're right next to the flex plate. Um, this is one that showed some foreign material in the bearing. Nothing crazy, but might as well check it. Um, the plastic gauge showed that it was good, so you can see the RTV I put up in there. I actually got RTV red uh, instead of black. I think the only difference is RTV red actually has a higher range, a larger range, greater range of uh, temperature. So, and actually on the back of the bottle, it says to use it for oil pans and things like that. So that's what I used. Okay. So yeah, I checked this. Um, what am I trying to say? Rod bearing, rod bearing. Um, pretty sure I checked the main as well. And you know, sorry about that. All the, all the clearances were good, you know, and the plastic gauge looked good. And according to the factory service manual, it says that you know, if there's no abnormal wear, which it didn't look like there was anything abnormal, and the plastic gauge clearances are good, then there's no reason to change the bearings. So I didn't, so I only changed just the one. And you can see up in there, there's the camshaft. And so I went through and I checked the lobes. I know on camera it's a little bit difficult to see, but um, they all look good. You know, there's one right there, nice and bright. Um, you know, I checked, they each have a really good nose on them, is what I'm calling it, because I can nose on all of them. Um, you know, kind of a wear pattern, but they all look the same. I think it's probably pretty good. And the cam itself is, seems really solid. I can't budge it at all. So, um, yeah, that's a good sign. Still could be some lifter noise going on, but we'll figure that out. So, okay, I think I'm going to get to uh, point putting this back on. I've got to put the girdle back on that goes over all these main bearings. Um, sorry about that. And then get the gasket prepped. I've cleaned all the surfaces around and scraped off the rust on the body. Um, there's obviously some staining, but it's super nice and smooth. So I think I'm going to get a good seal on the gasket. New timing chain up there, which is much tighter than the last one. Cleaned the timing chain cover. New gasket, you can see the blue peeking out there. Um, so I think we're going to be okay that. So yeah, just got to figure out where to put the gasket. I know in the instructions it tells you to put some RTV kind of at these corners. Um, so we'll get to that point. But anyway, I think there it is. The last look underneath of the engine before I start putting things away uh, and move to the next level. I am going to put some spray paint on the top of these bolts here on the torque converter. Um, excuse me, the, the bolts that go from the torque converter to the flex plate. I tried to color them with a wax crayon once before, that's what you can kind of see there. I know it's a little dark, my apologies. Um, to try, and it, it's kind of hard to tell. So I've got some blue spray paint, I'm just gonna spray it on there. I think I will wait to do that though until I get the oil pan back on. The last thing I want is for overspray of spray paint to go into the engine. So that should tell me though if these are hitting the dust cover uh, and if it's a flex plate issue um i did check the thrust bearing well i checked the play on the on the camshaft and man i mean i can't even i can't even discern any movement so now according to the factory service manual the appropriate amount of movement is minuscule it is like fractions of a millimeter so it's not something i think that you can really get a big idea of, but I think if it was moving enough to where the flex plate bolts would actually be moving and hitting the um, dust cover, then you would definitely notice it. So yeah, I used a, a pry bar and I can't even get it to move and took a good look at the thrust bearings. Um, see the, the thrust bearings in the manual actually <laughs> has it listed wrong, I can't remember. It, it tells you that they're in the wrong bearing. 
um, cap. So, yeah, pretty sure, yeah, you can see it underneath it. Number three. So, it tries to tell you that they're in number two, and they're not in there. They're in number three. So, I don't know why it says that. It's kind of funny. There, you can see them. So, okay, next step. Thanks.